Metro South Dakota. I'm the Vice President of the South Dakota Corn Utilization Council. And today we're combining corn near Hubble, South Dakota. The corn we're combining today is going to a, ter a terminal elevator uh, uh, train loadout facility. It could probably be sold to the ethanol plant that's on the other side of the tracks, so this stuff could be made into ethanol, but we do feed corn to our cattle. Uh, we cut silage. We also mix in some grain into the mix with the silage. Uh, and then we buy uh, distiller's grains, modified distiller's, wet distiller's grains, and we do feed some dry distiller grains too in the summer. So it, maybe our corn could go to the ethanol plant and come back as distiller's grains. So. As far as our farming practices, we, uh, we've done variable rate seeding, variable rate fertilizer. Uh, as far as the fertilizer goes, we have satellite imagery taken of the field and we break the field. We take about 10 years of satellite imagery and make, divide the field into zones, determining what's the more productive areas. And then we have a crop consultant who will soil test in those zones. So then we have certain zones in each of the field. So then there's a custom fertilizer spreader that has each product as far as nitrogen and your phosphorus and your potash and your micronutrients. And it blends it on the run and the computer tells it how much each product to put in so it hits the right part of the field with what it needs. And then using those same zones I spoke about earlier, we determine what we want for the optimum seeding rate, whether it's a lighter soil, heavier soil. And then that gets loaded into this screen up here when it's in the planter and it changed the planting population on the run. And then even after we've done planting, the same monitor and receiver can go on the spraying tractor and then it controls my row shutoffs, or not row shutoffs, but boom shutoffs in the plant on the sprayer. So we spray the outside and it knows when to shut the booms off so we reduce overlap and wasting chemical and whatnot. So. get to use our technology for many different applications so it's really moved agriculture a lot even since I've come home from college it's just amazing how fast that the technology end of agriculture has exploded.